Hi, this is Mike with Mountain Mike's Reproductions. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, age your Mountain Mike's Reproduction skull. A couple different techniques. Easily make it look uh, more aged or, or like it was out in the woods or just weathered. Uh, it's really a couple easy techniques. Um, it'll just add a little more authenticity to your skull if you don't necessarily like the complete white bleached look. Um, it's a good alternative. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. First technique I'm going to show you is just using a, a black coffee. Uh, it's a real strong black coffee. It actually is a is a just a light aging. It'll give to your skull, and you can um, buy more and more coats. You can you can actually darken it up pretty pretty darn good. But it's a it's a real simple process. It's very, obviously it's non toxic. So all you want to do is uh, brush it onto your skull. Brush it on. Make sure you get it into all the sutures really good in any joints. Get it on there. You want to use kind of a dry brush. So just do this, let it get in there, get everything all packed in there, and you see what, what it's looking like. So once you get to this point, use a paper towel. Don't use a terry cloth rag because it'll get into the sutures, it'll take it out. And you just kind of want to use a, a blotting, a, a slight wiping. Don't, don't take it off. You just want to get off the stuff off the high spots and not necessarily take it off the low spots. So just kind of damp it down. blot it and you'll see it's starting to come out right now you're starting to see a little more of the suture just kind of giving it that look what we'll do is we'll keep going around the skull and with this coffee you can get it on the antlers a little bit it's not gonna it's gonna wipe off it's not gonna make a difference so you can this is I'm obviously I'm doing it with skulls that are already mounted but you can do it to your skull before you mount it it doesn't make much difference either way you do it either way it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anything so we'll go through this process. Let it dry, just naturally. Let it dry in the sun. What I like to do afterwards, and this is one of my secrets to a lot of the stuff I do, is matte finish clear coat. It's matte. It's, it's not flat, it's not semi-gloss, it's just matte. It's completely flat. It's a great product. I use it after stain, I use it after coffee, whatever. Let it dry and put a clear coat over the top of it. This will also let you build up the layers. If I was to just keep putting it on, putting the coffee and wiping and putting it on there, I can also keep taking off some of the, uh, the age I've already put on it from previous coats. By letting it dry a little bit, put a clear coat of this on it, it seals that layer in and I can put it on there again and keep darkening it until I like it. I can make a real nice finish just taking it, taking my time, black coffee, clear coat. Now I'm just getting on the underside, getting the teeth really good. The teeth are obviously a a key part to aging any skull and keep it in there we all know even a european skull it's been bleached properly the teeth don't necessarily come out as white as the rest of the skull so we'll want to age those really good just keep blotting like i said you want a pretty dry brush you can use it just a rag too to apply it but the key is get it inside those sutures and all the seams really good we're going to go ahead and Lock this one more time and then we're going to seal this with a clear coat and then we'll come back and we'll look at where we want to add some more color. But for now, it's looking like it's a pretty good start. You see skulls in the wild when you're out there hunting, walking along, you'll see an old uh, winter kill or something. And the bone doesn't age all at the same, uh, same speed, so you'll have dark spots and light spots. Okay, as you can see, the sutures are starting to come out, starting to look more natural. So now I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to uh, put a clear coat on it, and I'll show you how that looks. Once again, we're using just a matte finish clear coat. So we'll spray that on there as soon as it's just done drying, and we'll see how that looks. Well, that's drying. I'm going to show you the other technique. And the other technique is just using favorite stain for antlers, when I do reproductions or when, I, when I'm fixing a broken antler, this is what I use to get the color just perfect. I use this for every color antler I can come up with, whether it's a sun bleached one or a real dark one from a timber buck. Uh, the more you put on, the darker it gets. The light, less you put on, the more you wipe off, the lighter it gets. But the tones are all within this dark walnut. You'll find it works great for a lot of different things. So this is the color I'm going to use for this is a, a much more pronounced aged look. 
it'll highlight the sutures really quickly. One coat, put it on, wipe it off. Like I said, with this, because it's got a sealer coat built into it, it won't stay wet that long. So it'll build up quickly. So I don't have to do as many sealer coats to lock in the color. I can just let it set a little bit, keep building it. Lots of times when you just use a, a stain, an oil-based stain, it, it'll just stay moist for a long time. And the more you work it, it doesn't really change the color too much. This does. Do this goal next. And once again, it's the same. It's gonna be a, just a paintbrush. Get, this, get some on here. And you're gonna see this really, this is dark walnut color. So be a little careful around the antler uh, bases. Go ahead and uh, get it in there. Now remember, this does have a sealer built into it. So this, the solvents are going to start setting off within a couple minutes. So you have, a, you have some time to work with it. So we're gonna wipe this off really quick. You know, it's not going to set up within a couple seconds. Now this, you can see right away, it's going to darken up really fast. Um, so it's more of a pronounced look. You might like the subtle look of the, uh, of the black coffee, or you might like the, uh, the, the dark sutures. The same thing, it's the same process. Just go do, a, do one section at a time. I wouldn't necessarily do the whole thing at one time. Get inside the eye sockets, get inside the sutures. The teeth, like I said, they're the key to making a skull look uh, authentic. You get those teeth darkened up and uh, be very believable. Our skulls, you know, they look, they're uh, an actual digitized real skull. Um, so they're, they're very authentic by themselves, but this uh, just adds a different, a different level of authenticity by, by darkening up the sutures, darkening up the teeth, it just, uh, you get older, you can't see it like you used to. Now if you get a spot where you, you've let it sit too long and it actually started to dry, let's find a spot like that. Well, just, just right here. It's this spot right here. It's starting to dry, so it's not gonna come off that black spot very well. The easiest thing to do, because it's got solvents built into it, go back over, put on a little hot spot, a little wet spot of it, let it saturate. The solvents will break down the dried stain and it'll come off. And that way, if you find an area that's a little darker than you wanted it to, just reapply the stain and the solvents will break it down and you'll be able to lighten it right back up. You can almost get it back to original white. Okay, you can see I'm just about got this completely done. Pictures down the front. And we go down the back these are the most recognizable that people see so i've got a nice coat on everything it's looking good now i just wanted to go back over that area and just very lightly go across wipe off the, all the high spots but by by using a, a paper towel it's a pretty flat surface so it will leave that in there and get all of it off the high spots just leave it in those lower areas and you'll see down the suture, the suture is really starting to pop and then it looks really nice. As you can see now, by just spraying it right now, even while it's still moist, all it's gonna do is make that that stain go off and, and uh, harden really quickly. The sol fast solvents in your matte finish are gonna help that. So within a couple seconds, this will already be dry. It's already starting to dry, so that's already good. So that's all you'd wanna do. And this, because it's totally flat, if you get it on your antlers, once it, uh, it dries, you'll never even be able to see where it was. That's the key with uh, using the flat finish. You should wear a respirator too, by the way. So this is the, the dark walnut way to uh, age your skull. That one's pretty much all done, ready to hang up. It'll be dry here in a couple seconds. So now getting back to our coffee one, it's all dry now. 
So now I can put a clear coat on it. Okay, I'm gonna go one more coat of coffee and work those sutures. So this is building up. This coffee's pretty weak. It's gonna do a lot less aging and you have to build up more coats. So, okay, you can see it's got a little bit of a, of a dirty look now. And now that clear coat's on it, it's gonna seal that in. So now I can go back to another coat of my black coffee. See? Now it's the same thing this time. We want to use kind of a dry brush. Get it in there. Get it, get it into those sutures. Okay, like I said, now you've sealed it. This the coffee cannot break down the clear coat. So all it's going to do is keep adding to the co whatever color you got underneath that clear coat. And same thing. I want to keep it fairly flat. The surface so that I'm only taking it off the high spots. This technique works really good, but it is more subtle. You can get it to almost the same darkness as you can um, with doing the stain. It's just going to take you a little more time. But a lot of people like this more of a, a lighter look. You really have to purchase even matte clear coat. Most people have coffee. You make a strong batch of coffee and uh, go through the process. So I'm going to finish this coat. Get the teeth really good. This uh, just got us the second coat on the coffee. And it's dried. So we're gonna go ahead and put a quick light coat. Make sure you get up inside the nasal cavity. As far as you can reach, it's when it's on the wall, you're gonna have to be hard pressed to see far enough up it to notice it where it stops. So Okay, so, you can see this, I'll give you a pretty little closer look at this. It's starting to, it's a subtle build up process with coffee. This is two coats, and now this is, uh, it's already dry, except that third coat dries extremely fast. So I think one more coat, and I'm gonna be happy with the way this looks. I'm doing the teeth here. I want to do it, get it in there, and just wipe off above it, just above it. So you're really leaving a good thick coat on the teeth. And that makes it look a lot more realistic. Now I'm not using a record keeper, a skull master, it works the same. This happens to be a record keeper. So this has the real skull plate underneath it with the epoxy cutting touch of paint over the top. No problem, you can use either technique with that. Once that paint cures, it's it's not gonna let any stain break it down. So like I said, this is a record keeper. This is the original Skull Master. They work great with either technique. Uh, it's fun, it's easy. Five minutes, you've got a beautiful, a uh, little more detail to your beautiful mount and um, ready to go. So this is Mount Mike's. For more tips and tricks, go to masterskulls.com and we'll see you soon, thanks.